This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, November the 15th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. The uh, surface map across the southeastern U.S. is dominated by a high-pressure system, generally over the southern Appalachians, and that is keeping uh, the weather nice and dry across the southeastern U.S. for this uh, first part of this weekend, but that's going to be changing in the upper atmosphere. The 500 millibar flow has become nearly zonal across the southern tier of the United States, and that zonal flow will be changing, though, as we're going to continue to have a bit of a chilly look to the weather pattern. Temperatures across the country are a bit cool this morning, and temperatures across central Alabama generally in the 20s. We uh, once again uh, uh, had a record low of uh, 23 yesterday morning, Friday morning, uh, and uh, that broke the old record of 24 set back in 1986. Uh, across central Alabama, the temperatures, as I said, are in the 20s. We expect to warm up fairly nicely today, at least a little warmer than yesterday as we get into the lower 50s. There's a number of winter storm advisories. That's all the purple and pink areas you see in the central plains and across the southeastern U.S. Those are uh, frost and freeze advisories. QPF-wise, we're looking at a nice rain event shaping up for Sunday afternoon and into Monday morning. And that rain event should give on the order of three quarters to one and a quarter inches of rain to the uh, central Alabama area. I think most places probably get about an uh, inch or so. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center is not out looking any organized severe thunderstorms for the next three days, but they do have a marginal area along the uh, uh, central Gulf Coast for day two, that's Sunday, and then for day three, Monday, we'll, we see that there's marginal uh, severe weather threat over uh, north Florida and south Georgia. And the tropics remain quiet. All right, let's get to the 06C GFS model run, and there's the surface high today, and it will be keeping things dry across the southeastern U.S. and some nice weather. The uh, upper air pattern for Sunday is beginning to show signs of changing as we're having a nice uh, shortwave trough come down the uh, west side of this trough and dig into the central plains, and that will help to create a surface low over uh, southeast Texas and the northwest Gulf of Mexico. That surface low will uh, move fairly quickly in response to the upper air uh, pattern with a nice trough coming into the uh, central Mississippi River Valley and uh, that trough helping to generate that surface low and move it up to the mid-Atlantic states very quickly. With this kind of weather pattern, we often uh, look for uh, the possibility of winter weather across the southeastern U.S. and the GFS is suggesting that the snowfall that will occur will be up in Kentucky. Uh, and perhaps in across the uh, northern sections of Middle Tennessee, but not for us down here, just a cold rain. We see that the, the major trough is over the eastern half of the country on Tuesday, so we'll look for a very uh, sharp uh, cold day for Tuesday, a very brisk day, as we see temperatures once again drop down into the 20s, maybe even some teens uh, as a possibility, as some of the coldest air we've seen so far, as you can see the 540 thickness line diving down into the uh, South Alabama area. The weather pattern moderates just a little bit, but not a great deal on Wednesday. And again, on Thursday, we see that we have the troughiness over the area, but we will moderate somewhat as we see the 540 thickness line by Thursday has uh, moved up into uh, the northern sections of Tennessee. But by the time we get out to Friday, we're beginning to watch the next weather system. So while the latter part of the week will be cool and dry, by Friday we'll be watching the next system coming out of the Four Corners area. And that should come out across Texas on Saturday. And that should then bring us the next shot of rain probably into uh, the latter part of Saturday and early Sunday. But we're verging on voodoo country here. And so uh, the timing may need to be adjusted either a little sooner or a little later, probably a little later. Uh, models tend to be a little bit fast sometimes. And speaking of voodoo country, uh, looking out into voodoo country, we see that we have a deep trough around the 25th. So the cold look is staying with us for the latter part of November. And even as we get out to the 30th, we see that uh, there's a bit of a troughiness and we uh, have another short wave coming across out of the Four Corners area that could bring another wet system to the southeastern U.S. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this uh, Saturday. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning, at least by 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates. Have a great day and Godspeed.